If you want to quit drinking alcohol, but you don't know how, watch this. So one of the most common questions that I get is, Bardia, your content is really good. I understand it. It all makes sense. What you're describing is me exactly, but I don't know how to quit. What's the first step? And so this is the first step that I recommend that you do. And the reason this is an important step is because the first step through overcoming alcohol, the first step in getting sober, the first step to moving out of the low vibration of addiction into a higher level of consciousness and awareness and reality is awareness and clarity. You would be surprised that most people who drink actually don't know and have never done this exercise and don't know the answers to, to these things that we're about to go over. So what I want you to do is to grab a pen and paper, draw a line down the middle, and on the left side, I want you to write what life looks like and feels like with alcohol. So I want you to write down all the negative consequences and effects that you're experiencing on your health, your physical health, your mental health, your relationships, your bank account, you know, just the destruction in terms of self-esteem and self-confidence and the guilt and the shame and all of these negative things that you're feeling. But beyond that, I want you to compound those over the next five, 10 years and imagine that if you don't make a change, things are only gonna get worse. Nobody's drinking problem gets better on its own. You have to take massive action and you have to make a commitment to actually transforming and changing your life. So on the left side, write down what life looks like with alcohol and make it painful and make it detailed. Now on this side, I want you to write down and get very, very clear on what life could look like potentially without alcohol. So I want you to write down all of your dreams, your goals, your ambitions, you know, what you want your health to look like, your bank account, your finances, your uh, relationships, what you want, you know, where you want to live, like whatever it might be, because understand that once you quit drinking alcohol, you can finally begin truly working on yourself and accomplishing anything that you want in life when you no longer have a monkey on your back that's dragging you down. And that's precisely what I help you do as a sobriety and lifestyle transformation coach. So in the beginning, it's very, very important that you start to build a vision for your future and you start to get clear on what life could look like without drinking, without alcohol without being addicted. And so this is a very, very helpful and important exercise that I recommend everybody who's struggling with alcohol to do because it's gonna give you the comparison and the contrast between what life looks like as somebody who is struggling with alcohol and as somebody who is addicted and what life could look like on the other side if you overcome this addiction. And it's very, very clear that we create this sense of uh, transparency and clarity in, within our mind so that when we're approaching sobriety, when we're approaching this path and journey of quitting, we know what both sides looks like and that we have something to run away from and something to work towards. If that was helpful, comment below. And if you want private one-on-one -on -one or group coaching, visit the link in my bio.